It may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil! for the oracle engine sentinel in Zhenzhou. there is one capital and six cities in guanglong with each city having its own sentinel while they share some similarities in appearance there are also differences the sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as jue manifesting in the form of a long like the statue you just saw sentinels are present where civilizations thrive Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the Magistrate of Jinzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chizia <sighs> might be in danger. Rover, please. Striking shadows. Of resonance. One more time. Rover, watch out! Speeding up. Swift and resolute. 
close. You fought so well. See? There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, could you hand me your terminal for a moment? Ah, done. Its design and system version are different from ours, but your terminal still has the data transfer and other basic functions. around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> Maybe it's not as big as some other cities, but Jinjo is always the best place in my heart. Jinjo sits between the Desert Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Baijia here. Where is she? sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually stronger. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. True. Who could have set the bait then? Oh, I see. The one who seems simple-minded in the group is actually the mastermind with schemes. <laughs> That's another popular trope. <laughs> no, wait. I'm not the mastermind! Rover... Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it.
does it feel, right? Why did you come here by yourself? But yeah, you know, we... Uh -huh. Thank you. 
Kang! Rover! Are you all right? Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness! We could see that darn barrier, but couldn't lay a finger on it. I'm fine, too. I've never seen such a formidable tacit discord before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <sighs> oh, this is an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu Terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guamlong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. No worries. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. to cook gum puffs, and they even made it a local specialty, didn't they? Speaking of which, gum puffs a type of tacit dis- I'm even more curious now. Anyway, spicy food is always the best. Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baijun, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Baiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong. If I may say, Rover, you seem quite mysterious too. Whether a 
it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granddaddy of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. <laughs>